Butchery Cafe Tool Time with Chef Chris Louisa. Here I am, and I'm holding something. It looks like a piece of wood to you, but to other people, it can be other things. It can be a... What? Coat hanger? No. Rolling pin. Look at it. Beautiful. You can use two hands, one hand, three hands. Use your friend. Hit somebody with it. No, don't do that. This is a rolling pin. We never wash this, just dry it with a wet, damp cloth. Never immerse it in water. That's one thing you're gonna use here in the cafe production butchery class. This is another thing, look at it, it's got holes. There's convex and concave, if you know what that means. This will puree your potatoes. But once it's pureed, you can take it apart. When we take it apart, so we can wash it properly. But when we wash it, we have to put it back and make sure you put it back properly. So I said convex, concave. If, if you know what that means, it's always on the vex. So this will push the ingredient through the holes. And there's different holes for different functions. And this is called a food mill. It sits on top, they gravity work. That's another piece of equipment you're gonna be using. That's two things that don't use power. We're gonna give you one that uses power. This one here, this is a RoboCube. Look at all the stuff. Wow, when I caught that by myself. This comes apart. Yes, it does, trust me. Look, all these things, a blade. You make sure that part is clean. You make sure this part is clean. You make sure this part is clean and dry and then put it back. But in order for it to be used properly, it has to be set up properly. And we're gonna show you that when you come to school. And we make sure that this is unplugged when we're taking it apart and putting it together. Roboku. We have simple things too that don't use power as well. Something like this, what is this? Do you know? This is a French fry cutter. You put the French fry potato in here, press it, French fries or magic comes out right here. Make sure you clean and dry. Once again, French fry cutter. Here, this big machine right here doesn't use power either. It just uses your own power. So what you're gonna do with this, there's handles that come off. It goes up and down. Let me just show you. So this is the cylinder where we're gonna put all our meat or our farts. So if we're making beef, we put beef. If we make pork, we put pork. If we want to do a vegan sausage, then we can put vegan stuff in here. This all goes together. Depending on the size of the sausage, you get a different size too. See, this is all held together with this collar. Your casing goes on here on the horn, and this goes in here, but you need something to screw on here, which is gonna be the press that pushes the meat or the farce down into the stuffer and out into the casing. This all has to be cleaned and sanitized before and after use as well. And there's also a little release for the air, because you do not want to have air inside your sausages, very simply. All put together like this. Use the handle and then you can make your sausages. Sausage stuffer. Not only this, these pieces of equipment, you'll be using a lot of other pieces of equipment as well.